Hi, and welcome back to another episode on the subject of practical entomology. This video is going to be a short and concise tutorial on how to easily make your own insect spreading boards of different sizes and configurations using just a piece of styrofoam or thermocol and some glue. Insect spreading boards are traditionally made from soft balsa wood that facilitates quick and effortless insertion of pins through the wood while setting insects. The width of the central groove in the board can also be adjusted to accommodate the body and the limbs of the insect being spread. Wooden spreading boards are however not that cheap for insect amateurs and hobbyists. Besides, they come in fixed standard sizes and you obviously have no option for custom sizes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple yet equally effective spreading board of any dimension you want at a fraction of the price that you'd have to pay for a standard wooden board. This tutorial comes from my own years of experience of using the thermocol spreading board. So to begin, all you need is some sheets of thermocol or loosely termed styrofoam in some parts of the world, a transparent plastic ruler and protractor, paper cutter, and a tube of PVA glue such as Elmer's glue or Fevicol. The main advantage of a DIY spreading board is that you can construct a board of any dimension and angle of the sloping platform of the board. These parameters are significant when we consider the huge variation in insect size and shape. To begin, take the thermocol sheet which is about half an inch thick. Make necessary measurements and markings of the required length and width and then carefully cut out two sheets of equal dimensions. These will be the two spreading platforms. So when making measurements, keep in mind the average wingspan of the insect specimens you'll be working with on that spreading board. Now, take another sheet of thermocol that is about one to two inches thick Lay the two previously cut sheets side by side on top of this thick sheet like so. Make sure to leave a longitudinal space in between the sheets. Make necessary markings and then cut the thick thermocol sheet to the required size. This cutout sheet will be the base of the spreading board. In case you don't find a thick sheet, you can just glue two or more thinner sheets together to make a thicker sheet which can then be used for the base. Now, if you are not too particular or choosy about whether the wing should be spread at an angle or not, then all you need to do next is to glue the two sheets on top of the base sheet, leaving a groove of desired size in between, like so. Your insect spreading board is ready to be used. However, if you are someone like me, who wants their specimens who have their wings set at an angle, then there are a few extra steps to follow. First. Place the two thermocol sheets on top of the base such that the two sheets are separated by a groove of the desired size and width. Then draw marker lines along the length of the sheets to mark the boundaries of the groove and the position of the thermocol sheets, like so. Then using a transparent protractor, measure the angle that you want the wings to be set at. I use 10 degree slopes for my boards. Next, measure the height from the base of the board to the extreme lower edge of the slanting sheet like so. Now, using this measurement, cut two narrow and long strips of thermocol of equal dimensions. Then, if necessary, cut these two strips to the same length as that of the spreading board you're making. Once that's done, Take one of the pieces and lay it straight along the corner on one side of the base. Make a final adjustment if necessary. By using a marker, mark the position of the thermocol strip. Keep the thermocol strip aside and apply PVA glue all along the edge of the base and then press the thermocol strip firmly into position using the previously drawn marker line as your positioning guide. Next, apply glue all along the top of the thermocol sheet, preferably along the edge where the sloping thermocol sheet and the strip will come in contact with each other. Then carefully place the sloping sheet on top of the glued strip using the previously drawn marker line as your positioning guide. Press the sheet down firmly. Make some positional adjustments if need be.
Next, gently lift the side of the sloping sheet that is next to the groove and then apply PVA glue gently and carefully along the boundary marker line that you have previously drawn, like so. Press the spreading platform down firmly. Apply a heavy weight such as a paper weight. Repeat the same steps with the other sloping sheet. Then place heavy weights such as two large wooden blocks on top of the two sloping sheets. Allow the glue to dry and there you have it, your insect spreading board is ready to be used. Before you pin and spread insects on your DIY board, I recommend pinning or pasting two strips of paper with printed or hand drawn grid lines on both surfaces of the sloping sheets as shown here. Make sure the grid lines align perfectly on both slopes. A graph paper with millimeter lines is preferred. This is especially helpful when pinning winged insects such as butterflies, moths and catidids. The grid lines allow for a perfectly symmetrical and aesthetically pleasing alignment of the wings on both sides. You can also check out my series of videos on how to pin different kinds of winged insects by clicking on the links in the description below. So here are some spreading board samples of different sizes I made to suit insect specimens of different sizes. I use the largest size board to pin and spread large specimens such as the atlas moth. The smallest size board here is used for moderately small insects and butterflies such as those from the Lycanidae family. For winged specimens with large and bulky abdomen and appendages, you can also construct a special spreading board that looks something like this. This is the design I use. You can make tweaks to this design as per your requirement. The large and deep groove provides a spacious compartment to accommodate the abdomen and conveniently fix the limbs in position. The thick and large spreading platform may be flat or fixed at an angle. The thickness allows for the creation of a deep groove and a spacious surface to liberally spread the wings. Different sizes of the same design can be constructed for different specimens with varying wingspan sizes. So this was all about the DIY insect spreading board made from Thermocol. Make sure to watch my other practical entomology videos as well by clicking on the links in the video description below. If you found this video helpful, please do consider subscribing to my channel and sharing it with friends, colleagues and students for whom this video could be relevant. Also, creating science experiment based educational videos is a costly endeavor with hundreds and sometimes even thousands of dollars put into procuring chemicals equipments labware necessary for making just one video not to mention time and energy inputs so it would mean a lot to me besides subscribing and sharing if you could also consider taking an extra step in supporting this channel by joining me on patreon by clicking on the link to my patreon page in the description below you can also instead choose to join my YouTube channel membership by clicking on the join button below this video. Patreon and YouTube channel members will get exclusive access to members only perks and extra benefits. Even just a $1 monthly support from you could keep this channel going and help come up with even more engaging and educational content in future. However, if you are not ready for a monthly commitment, you can also always send a one-time thank you tip by clicking on the super thanks icon located below this video right next to the like dislike button. Any amount you send will be received with thanks. Your unique super thanks highlighted comment along with the amount you send will show itself in the comments below which I'll then make sure to pin for all to see if it's okay with you that is. A big thank you in advance for your support and thanks again for watching. See you again soon with another brand new video.